mina la umuzwa mina gunje into zonke zila nga pansi i think about basemal poro they are like us because of the situation in Alexander that spilled over to Marlboro. Surrounded by my fame, when I left Marlboro, my fame, and when I left my fame, since I've been in the band, I've been in the band for many years. I've been in the band for In Marlboro, people have invaded factories, living on the land without paying anything. Yeah, they were in the land, they were in the land, and then they were in the land, they were in the land, and they were in the land, and they were in the land, uh, in Marlboro, people invaded uh, commercial property. The land issue where people invade people's land began in Alexander and has crossed over to Marlboro. Alexander was established when a farm that was waterlogged was sold to black people. Dorishibu is my grandfather. He is the family representative and he's in charge of the land, and he looks after it. In the 1980s, my family's right to our land was forcefully taken by the apartheid government. When they bought this land, Bakale Baba and my tenants, then by Hirisela and my tenants, the whites realized that Ubani invasion, we are Kuala. I regret uh, the decision that they overtook Babonangat. Now the surrounding areas, Amaplex, are becoming a threat. But the intention here of Tata Leland, Babonangat, hostels, where single men would stay, Abant Beza, only as a workforce, like my troop in. While the landlords were waiting for rights to their lands, they found it difficult to share their land with other residents who invaded. Yeah, after my rights were taken away, came the, uh, the era, the struggle. Black people were called revolt after the 76 riots. Then people used that. They are making the government ungovernable by invader. I'm a properties. Agrinath Shiburi is my mother. She owns a bakery business on the land and she makes a living from it. When you took a government, they were offering a band to labor money, 50,000, which was 10 years to To people, it was like a compensation, a pumuladic aid. Namsanje, it cost them more than that is why we felt to you know. I guess it's 30, 50,000 for the property there because it's not what it's worth. Land is an investment. Without land, you are nothing. Over man, she means that you need business land. Cindy is one of the residents. Her family invaded 27 years ago, and this land has become her home. Um, ukufika kwabo labo sisi, especially the scattered stuff, pila u baba baba kasisi mukula ngi tibabu mfundis. Even Nami. Because of No, you can extend. I extend and I govern. And then into Abang Sheleon again. Nothing to go Kala Yin. The father passed away. So Baba, we have any permission of Clara Lapam. I usind. Everyone on the land received the permit, including the landowners, leaving them fighting over space among themselves. Permit is you're permitted to live there, but you don't own. A title deed is ownership. That's the difference.
my family will be happy to get back the rights to our land. But I feel people should not be evicted like the people in Marlboro. Okay, guys, two. Zaga Akasi, I figure he loan I am a JMPD. I figure as as keep a land. So in turn, you think Jig and Jenda will never be caught and slang and now my traffic court back in the suburb and the two bola. Man, you think your man I'm going to pay with two guns Zaga land, one two Bolunya. I'm paying to all up. I feel I'm going to play that song and go in Ghana Palace. The best it is. I'm paying to now. Nabanya Nabo Imipeto Yabo Guganjala Ma finish Abu Guanjalo Nala Big Salabantu, Yon Kinto Sicilis Nama homeless. What about Ama Meteral Eight? What about this domestic saying? Sensentina A Sebenzi Ama Meteran so at a tap. So tatap Ama Meteran. Why am I the MPD and Abuisi in Tosetu? At least Abuisa in Tosetu. Kubena <laughs> Much as we need land, yes, I understand everybody needs land. But I feel I mean, it's the right thing to do with Baba Ivit. I am going to say that 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 I am going to My grandfather wants Cindy to be evicted. But he feels it is the government's responsibility to find a place for Cindy and the other residents. On the 22nd of September, 2012, Alexander turned 100 years. But unfortunately, we're still fighting over space. We still have people who get evicted. There's no reason you're going to celebrate. Tina, actually, as landowners, we're not going to celebrate, but we're going to commemorate. Because it's true, it's an idea, but it will be a commemoration, not a celebration. There's no cause to celebrate. What are we celebrating? We're not happy. We're still fighting in the courts.